Bradford University is celebrating a record shattering day. University leaders accepted an $8 million donation this afternoon. It's the largest single donation in the school's history. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer spoke with the donor and Radford's president today. He joins us now live in the studio. So Shane, what do they think about this? Lindsay, in their eyes, this is one of the defining moments for the university. Unlike donations for buildings or physical items, this is all about student scholarships, which means it has a direct impact on students' chances of success. Students enjoyed a beautiful day on Radford's campus, but it wasn't just the hint of fall in the air. It was also school leaders beaming with excitement for the future of the university. This is a transformative gift. This really allows us to have an opportunity to provide access and opportunity for some of the best and brightest students in the Commonwealth. Tuesday afternoon, the school celebrated the largest single gift in its history. Jack and Sandra Davis, seen here on the right, felt right now was the right time to give $8 million to Radford. There's enormous potential here, and a school like Radford has the raw material and these wonderful students to uh, turn out some real promise. The business school will be renamed in their honor, the Sandra C. Davis and William C. Davis College of Business and Economics. Davis is a former Virginia Tech professor, but the money is going directly to Radford students, where he feels it can have a major impact. I really like the idea of scholarships and being able to help students both realize their ambitions and their potential, but also to become the kind of well-rounded person that the whole college or university experience can bring to them. Davis says Radford and the New River Valley are opening the eyes of people who haven't taken Southwest Virginia seriously. He's happy to help cement his future vision, and the university is thrilled to join him. We're just happy to be able to be a part of it and be able to bring this to our faculty, our staff, our students, and this community. I think this could be transformative for the New River Valley when you think about the lives that we'll be able to touch. These academic scholarships are exclusively for incoming freshmen and transfer students in the business and visual arts schools, and then those students will need to pull a 3.75 GPA or higher to renew that money. In the studio, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.